This is Katie Moonchild. I'm Katie, by the way. Welcome to Katie Moonchild's world. I am so happy to be back. I missed you guys so much. Let me tell you, a person can only do so much laying around and healing. You kind of, your brain kind of starts to take off on you. Doing good though. Um, can almost hold a deck of cards. Don't have a lot of dexterity in my thumb yet, but we're doing good. I wanted to do a Saturday solutions for you for the end of the year. So without ado, let me bring you down to my table and we'll get started on this reading. Let me Welcome to Saturday Solutions, everybody. Let me explain the positions and the cards and all that lovely stuff. It's kind of pertinent. First of all, I need to tell you this reading is for entertainment purposes only in case we get into some politics or celebrities or areas that could be considered, I don't know, controversial. It's for entertainment. We're here for fun, y'all. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready to get this started, are you? Our positions that we have here in the cards. You're going, look at all those cards. We only have one of each though this time. That's a good thing. Here we have, first we, the main parts of this is this cross, okay? These are our four directions, east, west, north and south. We start with our current position, which is the east. It is also our past. Um, kind of lets us know where we're standing right now. Okay, this card is from the Mystical Shaman deck by Colette Baron reed Let's see what this card says. Where are we right now? We're trying to form our circles. We're focused on this. Look at all the different colored hands there. We all must work together. That's all countries, all peoples, all faiths. To survive and to prosper in the times ahead, this is what we must do. Collect your circles. Collect your tribe, gather with family, with those who are blessed to you. This is a card of solutions. This is a reading of solutions. So we are currently looking at our accomplishments, the actions that need to go with those accomplishments, and we also need to know we have to focus on what we are masters at. Not what we're learning, but what we already have as a part of us, as our understanding. As we take one foot in front of the other every day to make it through the lessons that we are being given and the opportunities that land in our lap. Can you feel it? Can you see it? It's all out there. It's just a matter of you reaching for it, working for it. You can't get mastery by just sitting around and being the hermit and waiting for it to bust your door down. You got to work for it. We need to see the human race as a circle. We are all the same. It doesn't matter what country you are in. Whether you live in the city or you live out in the forest. We all want the same things from life. We want to be happy. We want to be secure. 
And we want to have all of our needs met without having to worry and fret about it. Because the purpose that we are here is to learn and find out what it's like to be in this human body. It's not an easy walk this human body exists in. But to understand that walk, you're going to have to be able to go through many portals, across many veils, into parallel dimensions, as well as new dimensional levels. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's take a look at our goals. That's what this card is. This card is from the uh, Shaman's Dream deck, Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed This is the sunrise. As we're seeing our circles come together in the sunset, today, now, we're focusing on our, our tribe, okay? Our community. This is the card of community. We need to, we will be focusing on our communities today, now, and in the past. We've been focused on what is familiar to us. So much so that what is unfamiliar to us or different, we've formed a stupid, ridiculous fear about. Many stupid and ridiculous fears. And I can say that with full open-hearted judgment because Fear serves no purpose for you anymore. You are not in survival mode anymore. You are in ascension mode. Don't go backwards. Keep rising, moving forward, and moving up. What's our goals? Oh. <laughs> moving up and moving out of stagnation. It's the dust devil. I live in a state where we get those things. Ugh. They are small and they'll sandblast your face if they hit you. When they're big, they'll explode a metal shed if the door has a crack in it. as well as sandblast your house and your car. Take all, strip all the paint down to the metal on your car. We are moving out of stagnation. We want to move out of stagnation in such an abrupt way that we're prepared to twist and bend in any way we need to. To make this work for a better world for all. That is, you see the 15, that's a six card. <laughs> the dust devil is going to bring us harmony, cooperation, and healing. Okay, the dust devil that comes and hits you and blasts you in the face. Maybe you have acne. And that's going to sandblast that all off of there. So you have fresh, new, healed skin. Stagnation swells the things that need to be released. Moving out of stagnation makes the skin of those things fall away. Isn't that where you want to be? I know it's where I want to be. I'm tired of rehashing the same crap over and over and over again because I didn't learn it the first time around because I wasn't paying attention or maybe I wasn't capable of grasping and understanding all the elements of it that I needed to. That's why things show up again for us to have to work through. It's not because you did anything wrong. It's just because you did what you could at the time. Now you can do more 
you're given the opportunity to do that just that. So, how do we get being all focused on our community, our politics, our community, our tribe, our family, our beloveds? How do we get where we're more focused on moving forward and not on gathering? Gathering time is coming to a close. Now is the fine tuning and the moving forward. No more hermit time. It's time to wake up. Feel the wind, feel the flow that is in that dust devil. Because the flow that's in water also has dust and particles in it. Both polish your tarnished silver that is your soul and to polish out those rough spots sometimes it can be kind of uncomfortable but understand we're moving out of this um it has been a cycle very very long cycle of deception and as we move out of the stagnation of this deception understand that the dust particles will be giving you a new face a new point of view and a new perspective from which to draw upon so how do we get from here to here <laughs> This is the Enchanted Map Deck, also by Colette Baron reed Ugh. We're awakening. You need to come, even though you have had an awakening, like me, I've had more than one, believe me, you will continue to have as you grow. Breakthroughs, downloads, they all come. They're all a part of your transition and part of your connection to Divine Source. You have been in a state of stagnation. Once again, this card. See her leg, it's, it's, it's a stone. It doesn't move. But that's falling away as she is coming to life with this divine energy. Don't be afraid to live. Don't be afraid to stick your head out. That is some fun. Be happy, because happiness is a choice. You're breaking free. Everything you once knew is going to be different. It is different now. And adjusting is moving out of the stagnation we have been in for most of our lives spiritually we go through these connections disconnections and reconnections we have been so disconnected that what we have thought was spirit was just another game by a human being and now we can see that we can see that that we have been deceived. Because the reason we can see that is we can see the truth now. And we're not afraid of that truth. We're more afraid of the deception. Keep that in mind, please. Please. So what I'm hearing is as we have gathered our communities together of like-minded, loving people, we are moving, we are getting ready to move out of stagnation. 
giving each other a hand and a help up, we are coming to life in a way that has never been experienced before. That will heal our globe as well as heal us, bring us harmony, bring us sanctuary and peace. Everything that goes with harmony is equality, kindness, love, peace, all of that. Oh my goodness. So Gaia, what are you telling us in the valley? I see we're using the water alchemy deck. By Alexandra Wenman for this card. This is our message from the earth, from Gaia. Are you having a hard time looking at the big picture? She's telling you to break it down into smaller and simpler aspects. This is an alchemy deck. She's a chemist. See all of the uh, candles and bottles and she's mixing a way to dilute down the troubles and the problems. She's mixing a way for us to find our way back to the simpler things and not be so focused on moving out and away from everything we know without the background to support us. So she's saying dilute it with a flow. Get in the flow. There's You don't have to control anything when you're in the flow. You just let it happen. Feel the rel relaxation of the lavender over here. And the mandrake root to help you see your dreams and find the truth. We have the lily over here as a reminder of love and the fact that we are unlimited. And the thing that is guiding her and pointing the direction for clarity of the secrets that are surrounding us that make the flame waver. It's all hidden in the moon. Some symbolism here that I do not know that I would like to read to you that I'm looking up for you <laughs> and me this is a 21 which is a three card and this particular card is a card of uses. What you need to do to use, okay? What you need to use. Do not dilute your inner light and beauty. You are an alchemist and have the power to master your emotions, to transform your life for the better. Get in the flow. This is Seridwen, the Welsh goddess of fertility and transformation. She's depicted as a female apothecary. She's dressed in medieval robes and stands by a cauldron representing the womb. Illuminated water runs through her hands into the vessel. She works her image within an old alchemy lab 
and is surrounded by candles, old books, potions, and herbs. Through the window, we see a full moon. The image is framed by Celtic and Druidic symbols, herbs, and apothecary jars. Are you the alchemist of your life? Be the delusion. Top yourself up with a positive energy daily. In the same way that you would take your daily vitamins, dose yourself up with fresh air, breathe in the light, and bathe in positive feelings. I'm gonna add one to that. Stick your feet in the soil, the grass, or the snow. Connect with the ground you stand on, not the concrete or the asphalt, the natural ground beneath your feet. Use meditation as your medicine. Soon enough, it will become second nature as you more and more easily dilute away the blues and get used to starting the day on a positive note. This is, card is also giving you a little advice on some health, um, sacred water health. We just had a full moon. If you do like I do, I put out three gallons of water for the full moon to charge. And I use that for my ceremonies for the next couple of weeks. I also use that for the first drink of the day. First swallow of the day is pure and charged by the full moon. This is telling us, this is the at home apothecary. I'm getting a lot of messages about home here. This is telling us to drink, drink ginger tea because it has many benefits such as aiding digestion, easing nausea, reducing inflammation and boosting your immune system. Try this sacred twist on an old age remedy to get back your inner golden glow. Place, I'm gonna put this in here, so hopefully you can see where it says sacred water alchemy at home alchemy. Paste a slice, ugh, Katie, bring it back. Place a slice or two of fresh ginger root in a mug. Put boiling water on it and let it steep. If you want, you can put a little bit of honey. I like to use Manuka honey. And hold the mug, allowing the magical mixture to steep for 10 minutes while you place your intentions into the golden elixir that you have created. When you're ready, consume the drink and imagine it is being all your best qualities. Oh, I'm gonna read it. I can't read it in the, <laughs> in the camera. All your best qualities to the surface so they shine from your light golden sunshine. Okay, let me read that to you again. Place a slice of ginger or two fresh ginger in a mug. Add some boiling water. And as you pour the water, imagine a golden beam of light coming from the sun down through your crown and out of your heart into the mug to mix with the water and ginger. If you wish, you may like to add some honey or lemon for added flavor. Hold the mug and allow the magical mix 
mixture to steep for 10 minutes. Focus your wish or intention into the golden elixir that you have created. When you are ready, consume your drink and imagine it. It is bringing all your best qualities to the surface so that you can shine from your golden sunshine. It's a beautiful message. Thank you, Gaia. You're the alchemy of your life. You're the alchemy of your healing. You direct it all, kiddos. She provides the resources. It's up to you how you use them. Let's take a look at the mountain. This is our card of the north. Oh, okay. Card of the north. Turn this back around so we can prop that one up. We have the stag spirit. This is a card of leadership. It is also a card of expression, growth, and groups. Our community. The stag spirit also can be known as the night bringer. Stag is peaceful. Stag is quiet. Stag is silent. But stag brings with it a strength that is undeniable. We think of the deer as being a passive and prey animal. But the stag in every forest, there is always one stag that is dominant over them all. It is the one that all the rest of the creatures know is in charge when it appears. Stag spirit also will take you to your dreams. and help you understand them. Majestic Stag stands atop a mossy knoll. His nobility and grace are palpable. You can see frog fog form around his nostrils as his every with his every exaltation i'm going to start that over again <laughs> a majestic stag stands atop a mossy knoll since we're on the mountain the north is the mountain position apparently we are climbing this mountain today his nobility and grace are palpable you can see fog form around his nostrils with his every exaltation. He does not need to announce his might. Simply and utterly, he is powerful without words or proclamation. I told you you're not a hermit now. You have your community, you have your cycle. You're moving out of stagnation. How you choose to move out of that stagnation is up to you. This card is advising you to do it quietly. With strength and knowledge of your convictions. Never second guessing your mastery and being there for all those who need you and your leadership. Now, all of us are not necessarily leaders. Some of us are born to be followers. This stag is here to tell you follower people not to be afraid. Come forward out of stagnation in confidence 
come forward so you can see and feel who you really are. Maybe you think you're not a leader. Maybe you're telling yourself you're not a leader. Is that a part of the disillusionment that has been programmed into you by other sources? By outside sources? Pay attention to your higher self. There's your truth. It is not in outside sources. Pay attention to your interpretation of these cards, not mine, because it's a message for you. I am just a vessel to tell you what I see and what I hear here as a generality. This reading is telling us we need to focus on a little, being a little more simple way. Not so flashy and upfront and in your face. We've spent over 20 years with a lot of talking heads screaming at us, telling us that what's right and what's wrong and how we should be and how we aren't and what we need to do to change and control and where we're wrong, where we're wrong, where we're wrong. It is our time now to reject that. We've been being standing by quietly for the year of 2024. And for the month of January, we're being asked to continue with our confident, quiet stillness. As things play out, understanding that the goddesses are here for us. We have three goddesses this month. Go back and look at my goddess reading. It's for the year and for the month of January. Go look at those lovely, beautiful women. Those beautiful, beautiful ladies. There's your confidence and your stealth and your quiet being. Just be for a while. When you feel the need to rest, just be. Phew. This is all going to be a long reading, you guys. I've been gone a while. Got a lot to catch up on, hey? Over here, let's take a look at this card. This card is a message from the cosmos. And it is telling us to get prepared to take harmonic flight. The earth is changing, the earth is moving. Our position in the cosmos is in a different place now. Uh, so all the poles and the energies are different. We're in a different part of the dimension. And uh, some of us are in different dimensions as we are ascending into the fifth dimension. This is a time of handing up as you rise, bring someone with you. If each one of us bring one with us as we ascend in harmonic flight, just one person with you, each one of us brings one person. We have infinity to work on it, but understand in this lifetime, some of us are running out of time. Some of us are just starting. We are all in different places in our walks, but together we are in harmony. 
reach out. Grab a hold of someone who has it, who's got it together to help pull you up if you aren't capable of finding your harmonic flight. If you don't want to know somebody's opinions, don't ask it. It's all about harmony. It's about getting along. It's about being kind. It's about following each one of us, following our dreams and the rest of us being supportive and helping people reach those dreams. There's no reason to play a blame game because there is no blame except on you. And the only person that can put the blame on you, although many, many others are going to try, is you. What do you blame yourself for? That's what you need to heal and dilute. Find your strength and your confidence in your quiet being. And take flight. And as you soar, you'll see the truth. Reach for those who don't see it. Reach for them in love. Reach for them with your arms and hearts open. Can you do that? Can you do that? Or are you afraid of getting hurt? This is what we're being asked. This is why we're being told to get rid of our fears. You can't open up completely and take harmonic flight in the cosmos, on the astral plane, or anywhere else. If you're afraid, it holds you back. It's your block. I don't need to do the chakra block thing. as I used to do it. Anyway, get prepared for the harmony. Get prepared. You're preparing. You're making it. You are the harmony. What you want, as long as it hurts no one and helps lift up the whole, let's do it. It, it all begins inside us us what is a message from our dreams this is a new one for us and this is from the dream weaver oracle deck by colette baron reed <laughs> did you hear a sasquatch sigh No, there's an un... There's so many things in this world you know nothing about. And it's okay from germs, tiny, tiny things like germs to giant, giant things like Sasquatch. There's an unseen world out there and it's there for our benefit, believe it or not. We all work together. So you're going to find something in your dreams. Maybe a Sasquatch is going to come to you in your dreams and talk to you about this. Let's see what the book says. Since it's a new deck. I mean, I've only had this deck for a couple weeks. I'm going to read the book to you again. If you hear a Sasquatch sigh. <coughs> it's a seven card. I love the number seven. It's a seven card, which is of control, reflection, and assessment. If you hear a Sasquatch sigh, know that they are sad because you've fallen into the trap of spiritual narcolepsy. You've forgotten your partnership with the universe and instead are working through your ego. 
You think you see clearly, but you're temporarily blinded to the magic in the world. Perhaps you're comparing yourself with others. Or perhaps you are seeing through the lens of lack and limitation and therefore thinking there isn't enough or that you are not enough. Wake up, reorient yourself, declutter your thoughts and your, and your environment and be grateful. Those episodes are fleeting and you do not need to define your sense of self by outer conditions. This is a time to dive into more self-love and compassion. Do you find compassion for yourself or are you hard on yourself? I have a tendency to really be hard on myself. Cultivate a sense of humor. For you are more than enough. You matter. And life loves you so, so much. Look to the signs around you. The whole world is your oracle. Spirit has a plan for you. It's up to you to fulfill this plan. So, when you hear a Sasquatch sigh, it's time to stop and take a look because you're operating out of ego and not from spirit. It's funny, I'm looking at all these, they can be, are those third eyes or amoebas? <laughs> I love it. So it's from the big world to the microscopic world. Be about reflection. Be about what you can do to control your, you and your world. And do that all through assessment. Do the assessment first. <laughs> okay. And now we have a message from the creatures of the earth with our Therapets message. No, I'm going to wait for that one. Let's do this one first. This is an affirmation for us for today, for this week. Now I'll fall over. <laughs> this is from the Magical Times. I think that's the name of the deck. Ah, where'd it go? Magical Times Oracle Deck by Judy Bergsma. Okay, what this is telling us is to take time for the dreamer in you. Find your power in stillness, in your sacred space, is the peace which you seek. And that is where the transformation comes from. You see the dragonfly coming out of the lotus? All your growth and expansion happens in your sacred space. It's where your dreams land. Let me give you the affirmation that goes with this. Today, I will create a place in stillness. I will take time for my dreams and give thanks for my life. I will look within and find the peace I seek, for it is always with me. I will make myself and my world a sacred space with a magic cloak of gratitude and I will be happy. It's pretty powerful. I'll put this 
affirmation in the description for you so that if you choose to you can write it down so you can repeat it this week what do the animals have to tell us and I love it talk about a creature from the non-ordinary world we got a pegasus telling us you're a fighter ever onwards yeah ever onwards get out of stagnation out of ever ever onwards wow thank you so much you guys i've missed doing this this has been a really beautiful reading thank you for bearing with me and being here and if you just stumbled on me welcome um, I think you'll find that this channel is one where I try to be as uplifting as possible um, we don't need to hear negative stuff all the time do we <laughs> so I try to bring you some answers be kind to one another And we'll see you next week. We'll see you next time. Please make kindness a habit. I love you. Bye now. <laughs>